Out of the red corner, sitting five feet ten inches tall, he weighed in 155 pounds. As a professional, he is perfect. Two victories, no defeats. He hails from and represents Miami, Florida. Here is the undefeated, my true hero. Hello, hello. My name is Michael Trujillo. Um, um, Friday, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming to do my job, and I'm gonna win. I'm gonna fight hard and give a great fight. Thank you. Fifth fight of the evening. Fighting out of the red corner. 22 years old, standing five feet ten inches tall. Two and all professional record. Mike Trujillo, 155. My name's Mike. I got started in MMA. Training from um, training in my friend's backyard. So these underground fights and backyard fights. I expect to be active, I expect to um, move around, get my job, get a job done, win, win this fight. Um, I know I know he's well rounded. He's good. He looks like he has a pretty decent stand up. I know he's just a well rounded guy. I know, I know he comes from a pretty good gym. So I'm gonna be watching out for his, his submission. Watching off. I'm watching off for everything. I'm gonna be active. Be, um, I, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna predict, predict the fight, how it's gonna go down, but. Trying to put them out. I, 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 some people offer me win bonuses to knock them out, so I'm trying to make that happen. And his opponent tonight fighting out of the blue corner, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, he too weighed in 155 pounds and brings an outstanding professional record, five victories with just one defeat. From Athens, Georgia, here is Jared True Blood Burn! Yeah, it's uh, good, back, good to be back in Miami. Uh, it's my third time fighting for CFA. And uh, first I'd like to apologize for not bringing the mustache back to MMA. As I said before in December, it just did not catch on. Matter of fact, I got heckled from the crowd, got called Borat, so it had to go, man. It had to go. Uh, uh, fighting uh, Mike Trujillo, uh, he's a, he's a, from what I've seen, he's a, he's a, he's got, he's got a good boxer, you know. So comes forward, just like that. So it should be an exciting fight, you know. Possibly a knockout, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try for it. Uh, oh, we're both, uh, we got one thing in common. We're both uh, spent some time in the Navy, so. If you've never seen two two squids in a fist fight, then uh, come Friday. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Out of the blue corner, 30 years old, standing six feet even, five and one, professional record, fighting out of Athens, Georgia, Jared Burke, 155 even. Uh, my name is Jared Burke. Uh, I got involved in MMA, uh, one day I was on a, a base, I was in the Navy, so uh, one day I was on the base in the gym, uh, there was this martial arts thing, uh, sent a sign, it was, it was upstairs, went over there to check it out, and it was actually MMA, and I've uh, been training that for nine years. Uh, man, you know, I grew up in a, you know, a, a small town, probably 3,000 people, 800 people at the school, you know, started getting involved, getting in a little trouble. Yeah, um, well, when I face off my opponent at the weigh-in, well, a lot of times I'm thinking about how hungry I am. But the other other thing I'm trying to look into his eyes and you know see see where he's coming from. 
This Friday, uh, you guys can expect to, you know, me to come out there and sling some leather. You know, I was, uh, I was disappointed in my performance in the last fight. Uh, I had a really tough opponent, but you know, I, sh I should have pulled the trigger a lot more, and I'm, I'm going to make that up for this fight. You know, they, they bring quality fighters. There's no easy fights in the CFA. Alrighty, time to get our next fight started here in the lightweight division. You're getting a good look right there at Jared Trueblood Burke getting his final instructions from referee Jorge Alonso. There he is fighting out of Georgia, hardcore gym. He's 5-1 and one as a pro, and there is his opponent, Mike the Dragon Trujillo, 2-1 and one fighting out of Evolution MMA under Dan Monteleon. This should be a great fight, guys, at 55. Hey, and Jared wearing no mustache. Under Dan Monteleone. This should be a great fight, guys, at 55. Hey, and Jared wearing no mustache again, like he has stated earlier today. No mustache this time around. Because well, he was doing it for guys, a charity last time. Both these guys like to stand and bang, so we're going to see a nice uh, Mike Trujillo coming out of the backyard, so you know he definitely likes to stand and bang. Yeah, Jared Burke actually studies uh, physical uh, exercise science at the University of Georgia. And he you says watch. that uh, one day he hopes to be a trainer for a pro sport, a pro sports team. Yeah, watch his Muay Thai. Watch him set up the kicks. Watch his jab. It's a real treat to watch in there. Very nice. Trujillo can definitely has good hands as well. You know, I haven't seen those trunks that Jared Burke wears uh, right now currently. It kind of <laughs> makes it flash. I see it a lot in boxing, but not too much in MMA. Right. One of those things about those trunks that you guys uh, have to realize is every time that leg comes up, you have no idea it's coming up, especially with a round kick or knees. It, it, it kind of throws your opponent off. They All those little flaps. Yeah, they usually use it a lot in Muay Thai and kickboxing. I see a lot of those trunks. It yeah, must be easy on your legs when you go for the kicks, right? Because it's not that tight on your legs. It's just You're very loose. Jared Burke lists kickboxing as his primary stand-up discipline. You can see those great hands, but boy, his Muay Thai is, I just, he just screams Muay Thai. No doubt about that. Well, he's definitely uh, counter-punching, very, very smart, tearing up that front leg with his kicks. And Neither of these guys showing any inclination to go to the ground. And Trujillo actually was part of the Navy, and uh, at one time he got a couple of training techniques by uh, UFC fighter Brendan Vera in jiu-jitsu. And he also uh, wrestled in Miami South Ridge with former CFA veteran and now the ultimate fighter, fighter Mike Rio. In fact, they, he says, Rio said that he took Rio down a couple of times in wrestling. And that is no easy task. Oh, the overhand left there connecting by Trujillo. 
Both of these guys tall for lightweights. Trujillo at a little over 5'10". Burke at six feet tall. Good height. Of course, they don't weigh 55 now. <laughs> Trujillo. You can tell they filled out a little overnight. Oh, yeah. Trujillo definitely, he could be coming in at 170. Maybe 175. Jared Burke and Trujillo just letting them hands fly. I'll Very tell you nice. this, guys. Jared Burke says it's easy for him to cut weight since he studies exercise science. He says that it's a good, he learns different techniques studying exercise science and makes it very easy for him. And, and that's a good thing with cutting weight. Different fighters have different ways of losing it. Some take it to the extreme, so wait till the last moment. What, what's a proper way to do it then? Proper way to do it is to take your time with it and not wait till the last moment. moment. When you do wait till the last moment, you have to do these crash diets last minute to make uh, weight. It usually takes a lot of sting out of your energy. Well, these guys have full of energy, oh. so I don't think we'll have that issue here. First leg kick there by a Trujillo. Answered back by Jared Burke with a le left hook. Trujillo, a local guy down here, fights out of uh, Evolution MMA. Well, I'll tell you one thing, guys. These guys start letting it hang like this, and it's going to be an early night for either one. Oh, yeah. Either one of these guys could get knocked out. I mean, these punches all have bad intention on them. Now, Jared Burke, uh, his right eye is kind of red. I don't know if you guys see that. Well, he caught that earlier left hook there by uh, Trujillo. Working the body is Jared Burke. He's landed two solid round kicks. Trujillo, oh, Trujillo's starting to come on, but he ate that counter right. There's no doubt. Seems like it's going to be a slugfest, Very nice guys. straight right there by Trujillo. Jared Burke's a tough opponent, man. He's tough. Fakes the takedown. The first attempt by either a fighter here. Four minutes ticked away here in the opener. This Trujillo. is a lightweight matchup here at CFA number six. Trujillo has no other job but mixed martial arts. He dedicates 24-7 in the gym to practicing this sport. Well, for all you fans who actually love the stand-up aspect of MMA, <laughs> you like to see two guys sit there and really bang it out. Here you go. My yeah. Trujillo, Jared Burke. It has not gone to the ground, nor do they look like they want it to. They want to keep it are. on their feet and... Uh, Somebody wants to go home with a knockout. No doubt about that. And guys, we want to hear from you. Hashtag CFA Fights on Twitter or at CFA Fights. We want to hear your opinion on all these fights that we've had so far. Very nice Superman punch there by Jared Burke. Lands right in the forehead of his opponent. Working that jab. Trujillo slowed down a little bit here in the final minute of the opener. I don't know if anything caught him. Started making him think a little bit. Let's see if they finish big here in the final 10. Jared Burke going for a last minute takedown, see if it scores. It's very, very close first round. Would very close. Would not very want very to close. actually, on uh, my unofficial scorecard, I think because of the low leg kicks, some of the kicks to the body, I would have to give that first round unofficially to Jared Burke. I was leaning in that direction as well. Same here, but guys, we want to hear from you on Twitter. Hashtag CFA Fights. What did you think? Who do you think has the edge on this first round between Trujillo and Jared Burke? Guys, follow the action at CFA Fights and also check out the websites for articles and videos. CFAFights.com. And guys, I want to mention that CFA 7 will be on June 22nd. And, from, and uh, from what we know, the featherweight champion Jordan Parsons will be in action. Oh, Jordan Parsons is coming back. That would be awesome. A lot of guys love Jordan. He's a great competitor, amazing cardio. Fought a very, very tough opponent, Danny Chavez, for a title fight. And a lot of people... Will, he be, will that be a title defense? I believe it is. Beautiful. That's what has been stated. And a lot of people talking on Twitter over here. Uh, some folks, Sean Oldak said, wow, what a crazy broken jaw before. That's uh, in reference to Sebastian Angel. Fred Vallejo says, way to go, Trent.
Round number two underway. Mike Trujillo in the blue and white trunks. Jared Burke in the black Muay Thai trunks. A slight edge I think all three of us give to Jared Burke, Burke for that first round. More effective leg kicking. Maybe even maybe even a little more accuracy in the punches. And Trujillo pretty much coasting that last minute of the round. I see Trujillo more calm though. More of the guy who's waiting for Burke to attack him this time around. Well, I think what happened is Trujillo in the first round kind of exhausted himself a little bit. It'd, nice, it'd be nice to see uh, how their cardio plays out. Very, very fast-paced first round. <laughs> Trujillo with very, very good head movement. Side all, kick attempt. Almost looks like Trujillo is um, having trouble figuring Burke out. Oh, oh, oh until that left jab. Nice jab there. Took him back a bit. That's he, your he figured that out. boxing straight jab and stiff another and another one. And another one there. He kind of connected not to the full impact, but it did some sort of action there. You know, both these guys told me prior to the fight that they want a knockout, so they're definitely shooting for the stars in this one. Well, one of the things that Jared Burke's doing is he's throwing some very, very sharp, straight punches, but he's not doing any head movement along with it, so... Trujillo's just landing that straight, that jab, anything he wants all day long. Not dancing around then. He needs more head movement. His sure head is enough. just straight there. It's not moving side to side. He's not moving around. And that's what Trujillo's doing. Look at his head movement. He's constantly moving his shoulders side to side. And one thing that caught my eyes here, that Jared Burke, when he got hit with one of those jabs, he looked at Trujillo and smiled. Now, at what point there, does that intimidate a fighter? He just keep going. Does it make you mad? You just want to keep going and shooting at him for that smirk? Well, not, it depends, you know, if you want to keep it professional. You know, he, he's taking a look at, uh, at his opponent's face, and uh, Trujillo knows he's done a lot of damage. I mean, there's swelling in both eyes. Got a little bit of blood trickling out of the left eye. Well, well these guys are just relentless, very tough. A Mike Trujillo's face is absolutely perfect, intact. Yep. Jared looks look like this a round. Wow. Mess. Yeah, he does. He sure looks like it. You know, he wore that saw mask, but now it seems like it's permanent with that blood coming out of his eye. Well, he's got the swelling over the right eye from the left hook. Actually, both of them. He's got some blood. Wow. Nice side kick there by Trujillo. He's got the blood over the uh, left eye there Another by jab. the overhand right. Another jab connected to the face. But Jared Burke has definitely taken a couple of jabs. Well, it looks like uh, I was wrong there about the Trujillo. His, his cardio seems to be great. It seems to actually be picking up here in this round. Very so deceiving. He's getting a second round. Trujillo seems to have found his rhythm. He seemed he had seemed a little bit confused at the end of the first round, and then all of a sudden he shifted into second gear and his hands started find, finding their mind. It's almost like he had to relax in a certain way, well, sort of let like, the rhythm come. It's just like Zen said, you know, he, he moves around and Burke is not doing that, so he's taking that to his advantage. Well, one of the things that happens, Roman, is when you take on a traditional Muay Thai type stance and you're very, very cautious, you know, it gives your opponent the opportunity to do exactly that. You know, he's going to dance around you, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I mean, and it Muhammad comes back. Ali said. Exactly. And you're right about that with Muay Thai. It's a more calm, very straight up. While boxers, they move around, they shift, they left to the right. And you can see that right here. Well, if you notice, he's definitely, you know, landed his mark with those leg, kick, leg kicks, both inside and outside. But, you know, the boxing game is he's got absolutely no head movement. Nope. And Trujillo is killing Burke with the jab. I mean, it's, it's pretty much he sticks it out there, and he's finding Burke's face. Just like you said, there's no movement, so it's pretty much finding its mark every time Trujillo sticks it out there. And what's happening, it's actually building the confidence of Trujillo. Like, I can just hit this guy wherever I want right now. I think he just has targets on his face. It's a, it's a great, fascinating study of Muay Thai versus boxing. Nice overhead side right of the head. head. Trujillo yep. stuns his opponent, kind of woke him up. And I'll tell you one thing, Jared Burke's a tough guy. He's taking everything Trujillo has to give out. Trujillo just finds the right spot. Three jabs in a row there by Trujillo, straight on the face of Jared Burke. And if you look at Trujillo's face, just hasn't been touched. Oh, that's Ooh, it right got. there. It's that's over. It at it four over minutes and wow. 19 seconds. By Mike Trujillo. Oh, my he seen goodness. Birds, guys. Round number two at the four wow. minute and 19 second mark. Okay, I got to see the replay on this one. Guys. That was a fantastic <laughs> knockout by Mike Trujillo. Very that nice knockout. Back. Jared Burke was wow. out on his feet. You know, one thing you got to love, guys, even though you get knocked out, the fighter always comes back and says, I am fine. <laughs> they always look at the referee and gives him the thumbs up. And when they, <laughs> they go right back down. Here I might give that one the fight of the night and the knockout of the night. Yeah, absolutely. Here we go. The replay. Goes Definitely the knockout the of the night as of now. 
fight of the night as just of now. This beautiful jab by Trujillo that just shake, takes Burke back. There's the setup right here. Perfectly set up. The left jab. Looking up, calculated. Beautiful boxing there by Trujillo. Oh, right man. Just connecting all day. And as you can see in the corner there, Jared Burke, you got the uh, fight Another doctors. One taking care of him he's very disappointed it's kind of waving off he does not want anybody to touch his face he's actually crying yeah he's emotional poor guy's emotional right now he, he you know no reason to be you know too disappointed not at all jared burke's an amazing competitor i guess the five and two with this record but trujillo just basically had the targets he, he just perfected the skill of, of, of connecting with jared burke's face you know, and that emotion says something, Roman. That emotion tells you exactly how much it means to these guys, you yeah, know, to step crying. in here. Yeah, you know, hey. and, and some of the fans, you just heard them right now. Some of them said, ah, but, you know, the guy the guy put his blood, he put his guts on the line, and, and there's no way of this treatment from fans. Don't go anywhere, Jerry. Like, Don't go anywhere. It takes a lot of courage and a lot of heart to get inside that cage. Oh, then. absolutely. My hat's off to Jared Burke. I think he's a phenomenal opponent. Great stand-up. I just wish he would, I would have seen a little bit more head movement from him. I don't think uh, Mike Trujillo would have done so much damage. Don't let Jared go and anywhere, okay? Joe Martinez with your official words. Four minutes, 20 seconds. Round number two. Your winner by KO and still undefeated, Mike Trujillo! Right over here, Mike. Right over here. What a great fight. What a great fight. Mike Trujillo, uh, there's a classic matchup, boxing versus Muay Thai, at least the style differentiates. You see it out there. Uh, the first round was a real dead heat, real close. I could see at the end of the first round, you looked a little bit a little bit frustrated the last minute, trying to figure out, trying to get your range. You started finding it in the second round. That left jab, jab, every time you stuck it out there, it found his mark. You measured him, and that's when you, is that when you knew you had him sized up? I didn't know I had him until I, I know I was picking him apart, you know, but I didn't know I had him until I dropped him, you know, so he was still in there. He was still in there all the way. It was a beautiful combination. Uh, I don't know if we'll have a chance to take a look at it. It was a beautiful combination that took him out. Uh, I know I know you weren't hurt knockout-wise, but did he physically hurt you? His Muay Thai is crazy. Those kicks were really nasty. He caught me some clean punches, you know, kind of rocked me a little bit. Not, not, not serious, but, you know, he rocked me a little bit. And I think this might be the finish here, Mike. I'd like to have you talk us through it, if we can get that queued up, because it was a beautiful combination that took out Jared. Uh, Jared, why don't you come on over here? Because uh, you were hanging your head at the end of that fight. You should not be hanging your head, my friend. How about, let's hear it for Jared, you guys. Let's step over here. Jared Burke was a great fight. It was very competitive. Uh, you were emotional at the end of the fight. Your thoughts? What's that? It just hurts. It hurts bad. The loss. I know it doesn't hurt just physically. It hurts emotionally. A lot of people don't realize just how important this is to you guys. Uh, this is, you, you give your life to this sport. The training and, and what you guys give to come in the cage and do for us what you do. Um, but you should not be hanging your head. That's why I wanted you to stay here and talk with us. Because I don't want you to hang your head. You shouldn't be hanging your head. It's fight of the night. You know, I mean, come on. You shouldn't be hanging your head. All right, Jared Burke, if you guys see him out there, give him some love. He certainly deserves it. And here's a guy who really deserves some love, too. Still undefeated. What's in your future, Mike? Um, more fights, some more fights, and then see how where it goes. Well, you better stay in the CFA, okay? Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, like, I would like that. We would like that, too. One more time for Mike Tahillo! Words of encouragement Great fight, there. fight of the night. Words of encouragement for Jared Burke, who leaves the cage very emotional, but just like Jay said, you know, he has to keep his head up. I mean, the guy still has a nice record, five and two. Yeah, like I said, you know, it's the moment. Mike Trujillo after your KO victory against Jared Burke in the second round. Walk us through what happened. Um, I, I was I was hitting, hitting him with a jab, you know. I saw he was like kind of wary of my jab. So I think I, I'm not sure exactly what, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I think I was flicking my jab out, jab out there and 
he was kind of backing up, and I just threw a left hook, right hand, and I think he just dropped. I yeah. stumbled back and fall, fall down. And I went to finish him up. Yeah, you have an interesting uh, an interesting style. You're almost you almost stalk your opponent. You know, you're not light on your toes. It's not like a boxer type style, which I was expecting because I heard that you were a big time boxer. Is there any method to that? Um, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a boxer. I just kind of like using my hands, you know. But I, I I like to watch boxing. I like to try to emulate it, you know. But I never trained boxing. You know, I've been training for three years, you know. So I just been in MMA. I've been I was training in the backyard and I, trained, I started training in MMA gym. So I like using my hands. So. And uh, I also heard a little bit about your weight cut. It wasn't the easiest weight cut. Uh, I saw you at weigh-ins, and you looked a little rough. I was almost worried they weren't going to let you fight. Did you have issues with just getting the last-minute weight off, or you waited too long, or what happened? I started Monday. I was about 180, and, um, and then I got down to 172 by the time um, Thursday came around. I was, like, I was like 70, 72, but I woke up 72 that, that morning, and um, I just had to cut 17 pounds in one day, you know, so I did it. 17 pounds in one day. Yeah, I just did it. No, so I did it. Yeah, you just did it. You just did it. All right. Well, congratulations. I'm sure your eyes on the prize. That belt, it is now vacant because someone snuck off and went to the UFC. So is that something that you want to see in the future? I mean, possibly, you know, um, I'm just going one fight at a time, you know, just one fight at a time. I'm not going to say I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go for the belt. If that's that, that's um, probably, I want the belt, you know, I don't know what I want, you know, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, he doesn't know what he wants. He just knows he wants another victory. Congratulations. Yeah, I just want another victory.